Well, I'm here because the builder asked me to come here. Okay. The builder. Is... Where is the builder? The builder's just down at the corner. Okay. Then I'll go down there. Perfect. Gary, so you were going to bring in trucks and gravel? You just yes. watch the traffic. Yep. You were going to start moving in. Well, they don't have much left to do. But to complete the road, it would have been all done. And what did they do? Show up and well, they were here early. They were here at six, probably. Six fifteen. They basically said it's the same thing. We have to. Uh, this time we have to actually comply with the HDI, not just the road. Who said this? See, we need exact facts. Yeah, no, well, a lot of witnesses. We have to comply with the HDI. Now, what does Meet that with mean? and comply. Well, I guess make a deal with them. But their deals ultimately does it, ultimately does it, end in conveying the deed over to them. And then we have the Is the HDI explain. asking for money? The HDI did the day we were there. How much? $3,000 application fee, but it's in the paper. And I, I, Well, basically, today we were told that we have to um, cease and desist working on this project until we not just meet with HDI but comply with HDI. Their financial demands. Whatever. And, and I, I think ultimately it, it, it leads to us conveying, she actually brought up the lease, that we will end up leasing the land back from, the, from can, them. Can you list the names of the natives who are... I only know Ruby and Floyd Montour were there. The rest of them I don't really know. Do you have that sheet of paper? That's Dave's not here. Dave okay. has it. Okay. But, um... So obviously you don't want them on the property. Well, they're not going on the property. No, I don't. But I don't they're currently blocked in access. Well, right now they're, we're not doing it. We don't have anything going on, so... But, uh... I don't, uh... Doesn't look good. And what does the OPP say? They're they're not going to uh, remove them. They'll keep keep the peace. Basically, they'll keep them from uh, hurting anybody or us hurting them. And it's pretty well. Absolutely. I'm dealing with it. I'm dealing with both Mr. Almos and Mr. Corrado in, in trying to resolve that issue. Super. We have permission from him to be on his property to document evidence. So you understand that? I understand that. Fair enough. But, but understand that we are here to make sure that, that nobody gets hurt today Great. and that we keep the peace. Super. All right. Isn't that what they were there to do on December 1st? I'm pretty sure that's what they were there when to I do When I got taken December. away unconscious yeah. and brain so damage? Probably, you'll probably find it right in my job description if you take a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what your job description says because I've been reading it lately under the Police Act. Yep, yep. And I'm pretty sure it has to do with preventing offenses yep. and apprehending criminals. Absolutely. And, uh, 
preventing mischief, things like that. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's in your job. Sure does. Yet. What does it take to be a midget? Uh, then, then I have to know who owns the land. <laughs> <laughs> and who do you think owns the land? I have no idea. You do. No, I do. I do then, not. You know, if we're going. Do you know what? If we're we're going to have dialogue. Then, then I have to have. I have to have direction yeah. with regards to that because it's not because it's under dispute. Like it would be for anybody. Else. Like your property in Binbrook. If you're if you want to fight about the property line, I wouldn't be able to say walk up to you and say. Yeah, you can put a fence there. You can put a fence there. I couldn't do that. Yeah, but if someone walked on my property, if so, and, and, someone and it, walked on my property, just a second, it was you had, you, it was your, it was yep. your scenario. Yep. Someone walked on my property and told me I can't walk into my house that I've been living in for a couple of years. Yeah, you'd be right there to remove them. And it's distinguishable as to whose property it is. Well, and, what, and, it, and I can I can prove that. Yes, you're absolutely right. Well, that's just the uh, talk. I mean, the Attorney General argued that the natives do not have. Just a second, the Attorney General argued in 2006 right. at the Ipawash Inquiry, they gave over 25 court examples where natives do not have color right to be blocking or occupying disputed lands. And when, and when, uh, when I get direction to that effect, then oh, I, I, will, I will take I will I understand take the, you're following orders. I will take the appropriate action. But you know as well as everybody else here who owns the property. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, sure. I wish I did. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> the black and white world would be much better than the one I'm in. Well, who owns the, who has the title deed, which is backed by the Ontario government? So if, if they produce the title deed, would that be sufficient? No. So title deed mean nothing to the OPP. I'm just asking. Well, Someone produced the speak, title I deed. Don't, I don't speak on behalf of, of the OPP on all issues in land disputes. Well, you're, you're a state supervisor here. Right. So someone produced a title deed. To you, that's not sufficient proof that they own the land. Not for disputed property, no. Okay, so when the Ontario government says they back the title deed, they really don't mean that the OPP back it. I didn't say that. <laughs> you are OPP. I'm not, I'm not asking your personal opinion. I'm asking your view as an officer. Right. When Ontario government says they back on the title deed system, whether it's that property or that property or this property, you're saying that's not a legal document by which you can make a decision. What I'm saying is that I'm not here to settle land disputes. We're not. At, no one's asking. Yes, settle. you are. No. You're saying you're, one side has got one one version of it. The other side has another. That's right. And, and judge, you're asking. And you're judges asking. Judges keep me. saying. Judges keep saying. Right. That if the natives have a dispute, they take it to court. That's what judges keep saying. Yeah. And you're asking me to resolve that dispute here at this property, and I'm not going to. No, I'm asking you to live up to the legal documents that the Ontario government accepts. That's not what you're asking. You're asking Who pays me to, the property? You're asking, you're asking me to pick sides. Who? No, no. Yes, no, you no. are. Who, who pays the property tax? So if they've showed you a property tax deed. Stop. No, no, these we're, are legal documents. These are, not, this is, this is the government saying this is who is the legal owner. Mr. McHale, right. I'm going to tell you right now okay. that it's, it's a disputed piece of property, right. and I'm not going to make it that decision. I'm not. Oh, I understand that. Okay. But there are legal deeds. There's a property I've tax been, that someone's paying. I'm sure There's there is. There's an Ontario title deed. I'm sure there is. Okay. And so if someone produced all these legal documents, that's not sufficient for you as an officer to decide who owns the land. But would it still be less disputed? Well, it's because this guy here decides to dispute with his neighbor doesn't mean he doesn't get to live in his house. That's the point you're missing. This guy can have a dispute with him. He takes it to court. What he doesn't do is go and occupy the other person's house. Okay? And if he did, you'd be there to say to him, so that's how, sim that's how simple treaty rights and land claims are. Na uh, Six Nations doesn't have a treaty. That's how, that's how there simple. There is no treaty. Oh, there is no treaty. Not between Six Nations and Canada. Not a single one. Well, I must point out here that uh, Haida Nation, the Supreme Court decision in Haida Nation said that third parties have no duty to consult or, or to accommodate. And that liability belongs to the Crown and it cannot be delegated. That's right. So what are, these people, what are these people doing here? And the courts have held they don't have the, the, the right to uh, commit illegal acts. So I, I don't understand what's going on here. There are no court rulings that support what you guys are doing. You know what? Then that's something I'll have to live with. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> because you're just following orders. 
All right? That's all there is to it. And that comes from Fantino right down. Doesn't, it doesn't come because the courts have ruled this way. Matter of fact, natives are going to jail around the province for doing exactly what's going on here. Absolutely. That's right. So, which must mean it's illegal. It didn't become illegal in another jurisdiction, but it's legal here. So how come they can go to jail in Charbert Lake, or up by Thunder Bay, or down in Deserano, but they can't go to jail here? Like, is there a different criminal code in uh, this uh, jurisdiction? See the county attorney and ask him. Don't need to. The, the attorney general already argued in court. I see. They already argued in court, and the natives do not have color right. I'll take my direction from him. Okay. I would have thought you took your direction from your superiors, not from the ground, but that's all right. No, no, apparently not. Oh, how are you doing, sir? How are you doing, Dave? How are you doing? Good Jeff. to see you. Jeff, you met Jeff. Yeah, I met oh, Jeff. yeah, we've talked. Now we've, we've asked you guys to be our agent and to remove these people from the property and you right, choose not to. Okay, so now I'm authorizing these people to act as our agent and to collect evidence and photographs to start laying criminal charges. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Now, Dave, if you can do it politely, since these officers are here, walk over. Jeff will videotape it, ask him to leave one more time, or charges will be late. Uh, we'll catch it on video. If they don't leave, then we can file on Wednesday. Okay? Jeff, catch us, please. Certainly. We'll stay back here. Okay. Oh, we've asked you to leave the property. Okay. You don't own this property. This is the property owned by a number company. Who are you? I'm the owner of the property. We are. In the green no, I am. We are. Prove it. Who are you? What's your name? Can you ask the police to move from the property? Can you remove them from the property? And what do you choose to do? Choose to the peace. Make sure you do not own the property. Okay, I've asked. Yep. We're collecting the evidence to uh, make criminal charges against whoever. Do you hear the color of right? Did you hear that? Well, I've heard about the color of right. I well, have the I color have of right. So do I. Not now. Yes, not here I you do. Don't. No, oh, you yes, don't. Yes, I do. No, sorry. Yeah, what are you going to do? Go kill more of our people and get lost some land? Do it. Okay. You had a meeting with HDI. Who was in the room? The mayor. The mayor. Uh, the deputy mayor, Buck Slow. Uh, the two provincial negotiators, um, Nolan and Maher. Hazel Hill. Hazel Hill. The Aaron De Detler. Aaron Detler. Aaron Detler. Did they ask for money? Yes, they did. How much? $3,000. And if you didn't pay it? They're going to have to shut us down. Is that, they say that? Uh, I can't remember the exact words, but uh, there's supposed to be transcripts coming that will probably be altered anyways. We tried to get a transcript right that day, but... Um, and he asked for us to transfer the, the property taxes to them, which we have no jurisdiction to do. Right. 